Nick, thanks for your time today. We're here at the Colleague Cambria uh, Technology Centre. Yeah in Wales. Now, you've made a, a huge investment in Harrison and the clawsing machines. Can you tell me a little bit why you selected these machines? Yeah, when we designed this, this building, the Engineering Technology Centre in Cambria, um, I was really keen to ensure the fundamental engineering aspects of machining were maintained. We've had a great relationship with 600 Group over many years now, and the equipment that 600 Group have always supplied there's always been quality equipment and most importantly uh, my learners enjoy using it. Yeah, it really helps that we've got some great tutoring uh, that's been supplied by Colo Cambria. Yeah, McCall, our personal tutor for our group and uh, everybody else that's helping in all the other tutors. It's been really quite easy. Coming from a perspective of me, I came here with nothing, no machine experience whatsoever. And I'm quite uh, confident using the lathes and the millers that you just pointed out there. The actual product itself is quite easy to use. Everything's quite labelled out. Uh, as I said, you can come in with barely any experience and understand how things work. If you, you develop sort of a mechanical mind whilst using them, how it works, every measurement's there. The electronic capabilities are amazing, so using, you know, you can switch from uh, imperial to metric, um, but also the manual capability, so you've got the measurements on, on the dials and everything, and it, yeah, it's been quite, I, I feel quite confident in my own use of them at the moment. So in order to, for them to meet industry standard um, qualifications, we needed, needed industry standard equipment. And 600 Group, with the Colchesters, with the Claws in Millers, give us that standard. They give us that sort of quality and accuracy. And they give us, most importantly, what industry asks of us. It's really good. Um, it's good that we're the first year in this new facility. Um, so I think that's very beneficial really. Yeah, well, hope I've got a job at the moment, I'm an apprentice, so I'm hopefully be able to work myself up when I've qualified in the company that I'm in now. Um, yeah, so just from there, I think. This year, I was delighted I had 14, 14 engineers at the NEC Finals World Skills. Um, two came home with medals in CNC, and one came home with a medal in aerospace engineering and two groups, a team from Magellan Aerospace and a team from JCB also picked up medals in the Manufacturing Team Challenge. Obviously the technical skills using the machines and everything, but I think the bigger skill is um, the ability to consult others, consult peers for support and just, just working with other people and especially working with people from other companies as well because obviously there'll be contractors and things like that in Airbus. So I think that's been the most beneficial part is the whole working as a team or, or, or being able to, to reach out for support. Yeah, that's the biggest skill. Working with the likes of 600 Group, you're being exposed to state-of-the-art equipment. Yeah, it doesn't get any better. Um, as, as you can see here, the tooling equipment, the machining equipment we have um, is absolutely fantastic. You can then, depending on your need and depending on the needs of industry, transfer onto the CNC side, where we've got uh, um, three CNC millers and, uh, and three CNC lathes. Um, We've also, set up, we've also designed this centre to incorporate new technologies such as 3D printing. We've got 26 polymer-based 3D printers dotted around various rooms within the building to allow learners, or to, to allow learners to learn not only about um, subtractive material removal, but also uh, additional additive layer manufacturing. Um, so it, it, it's, it's really important. You can also, within this area, learn a lot about automation. Yeah, we have a significant hydraulics, pneumatics, PLCs um, section, and um, also a robotics section. So, um, to answer your question, in terms of engineering, and in terms of practical and exciting engineering, we've got it all here in the Engineering Technology Centre, and it's up to the individual, and it's up to the needs of industry.